Hey guys, so um, despite the limitation of travel, I did get a chance to test out uh, a bit um, K1 25 caliber in uh, 2020 version at longer ranges, that is at silhouette at uh, silhouettes at uh, 102 meters or 111 yards. So um, I, I got some surprises. Actually, I got some things that I didn't expect because I not only test uh, pellets, I also started to test slugs. So um, with pellets, you already have seen on at 70 meters what uh, this version can do now. Um, and at 100 meters, it doesn't disappoint either. Uh, I'm happy to say that I think that from the two magazine, I maybe had one or two flyers at most. And these were not extreme flyers. This was like maybe, I don't know, two inches, uh, uh, so five centimeters from the from, from where it should hit. And there was no extreme spiraling. So it's definitely, definitely really, really nice setup right now and definitely good for shooting at longer ranges. Um, I did also maybe shoot at slightly too high velocities. I did also shoot at 280 meters. So that's what, 920? 900 something like that uh, feet per second um, in any case I was really happy about that uh, I currently have it set uh, well it says 150 bars but it's actually a little less the reason why the pressure is now uh, higher is because I shoot outside which where is minus uh, not minus it's zero degrees Celsius so when I bring the gun in of course this uh, plenum gets heated up and the pressure gets higher it's actually set to about 130 bars which is plenty for any pellet plenty so you probably know uh, Huben is excelling at uh, pressure efficiencies at you as you might know the biggest surprise for me was because when I started to test slugs first of all let me just confirm again do not use bow tail to my design of slugs in this gun they do not shoot well they are not stable and that's simply because of too slow twist rate uh, my slugs are bow tail bow tail require higher twist rates uh, and they rely on that spin stabilization and if you don't have this they will not shoot well so don't don't use those uh, use those only in uh, standard uh, twist rate so what uh, 116 to 118 uh, uh, feet um, sorry uh, uh, inches per uh, revolution uh, definitely not in slow twist that this barrel have but the surprise was when I put these pellets in, uh, sl sorry, slugs. So these are the JSB knockouts. They are, uh, what, 33.49 uh, grain, so 33.5 grain. Uh, they are about the same weight as uh, JSB King heavies, um, any of them, uh, MK2 or MPK1. Uh, they require about the same pressure and power wheel settings. By the way, when I will show you some accuracy, then I will also give you the power wheel setting so you will know, and pressure, of course, uh, of the regulator. Um, but the cool thing is that uh, with that 130 bar, I can actually uh, add eight clicks and shoot those at almost, uh, what is it, uh, 950, maybe even more feet per second. So it's about uh, 290, uh, over 290 meters per second. And they still group really well. Now, keep in mind, because limitation, I ho only had one chance and I only emptied one magazine out of this gun with this uh, slugs and the groups you will uh, about to see in the end is that group. Uh, also, I apologize for some of the groups being shot in quite a dark environment. Again, this is due to circumstances. Most, most of the time I'm at the range, I'm actually working on maintenance work in order to be allowed to go there in the first place. Um, so um, those grouped at about just over two uh, MOA accuracy. Uh, now, realistically, that is a good group. I know that some people claim that their guns shoot MOA constantly, and some do, uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, Huben is typically, I would say with pellets, this is sub 1.5 MOA 
gun constantly so no no exceptions and with this i would say you could get for sure sub 2 moa maybe even to 1.5 moa uh, the the thing the, that is uh, kind of annoying using slugs in the uh, guns that have actually uh, shooting the shooting from magazine is that they actually are not fixed inside that uh, chamber the chamber being the magazine itself uh, and they can move forward and backward backwards and uh, uh, for this gun the problem is that if you lean the gun forward it will actually fall into the barrel and you kind of get different point of impact if the slug is already in the barrel or pressed up against the forcing cone or if it's fully back so that's kind of unavoidable maybe we will in, in future see some special slugs that have some sort of uh, uh, coned end I doubt it, it would kind of defeat the purpose because that would kind of add drag again. Um, but in any case, uh, even with this kind of, uh, let's say, not practical use, uh, of course you cannot rotate, for example, the magazine if you lean the gun forward and the slug fails halfway into the chamber. Uh, even with those kind of disadvantages, these still work extremely well. And of course, even if the slug is halfway in the barrel, it, it the only thing is that you cannot manually rotate if you wish so the gun. It will not jam the gun or anything like that, because you will fire that round anyway, and, and it will rotate once the chamber and the magazine in that uh, uh, location is actually empty. So there is really, really nothing bad about it. I'm happy to get this accuracy. I will work uh, when I have more chance of uh, uh, being on the range in uh, testing some other slugs and with this i would like to present present some other slugs i will test of course nielsen slugs although these are old series because unfortunately i got those quite a long a while ago and I still haven't been able to review them for that i apologize to uh, nielsen i really that was not my intention uh, because i did get those slugs for free um, but over here I also have something I intend to touch, test much more in the future. And these are slugs from, from actually my colleague. In, uh, he's from Slovenia. So he's a local guy here. And currently he's uh, swaging uh, manually by hand. At only 25 uh, caliber. And he's uh, making some bigger in the future. These are his first test samples. So you can see here, he made me some, they're all hollow points and these are flat based. He made me from 28 to 37 grain. Uh, and these are basically the same, only the base is cup, cup shape. Um, he also actually makes, if you're interested, my slugs from my mold. So from MP molds. Um, uh, you can actually buy directly slugs from him. He does tend to make it typically from pure lead, so uh, keep that in mind. But the quality of those cast slugs, I will put some pictures here, uh, are exceptional compared to what you typically see from cast uh, from casting. So really high quality, I definitely recommend you to check it out. But again, do not use the 25 from MP molds in 2020 series all the series yes 2020 no uh, so that's it for me guys enjoy the video so it will be one group with uh, pellets and uh, not really group sil shooting and silhouettes and one uh, at uh, with uh, slugs I, with slugs i actually try to make a, make a group at on the biggest silhouette because it was just freshly painted and the size when i measure it what was uh, just under seven centimeters uh, so that's uh, roughly oh, 2.8 2.7 inches something like that uh, which uh, if it took into consideration uh, consideration that it's 102 meters and uh, or 111 yards it's really actually closer to 2 moa um, anyway check it out let me know what you think in the comments make sure you subscribe uh hit uh, hit that bell and uh, see you in the next video first of all sorry for the low image quality it's uh, getting dark um, and uh, second of all this camera will run out of power soon or out of battery 
So uh, I'm uh, having here is the 25 caliber uh, K1 2010 version, and I have mounted on it the new uh, Vector Optics uh, Continental scope. And for low light, this is uh, this is a really nice scope, and of course not only for low light, but uh, this is a, a higher end scope, which I just wanted to test and. Um, I just put it on, it's not sighted in, so we will sight in and from then on uh, we will try to hit some uh, silhouettes. So let's just see where we are right now. Okay. This scope is really, really nice. It also has a illuminated reticle. Okay. Okay, we're still low. Okay. So guys, Huben can shoot pellets. <laughs> Empty. Just too easy. We are here with Huben K1 2020, uh, 25 caliber, and we have JSB knockouts. Um, and we are at 102 meter range, so let's see what kind of accuracy we can get. The regulated pressure is about 130 bars, and <coughs> the power wheel is quite open, so we should get around 70 foot pounds or 100 joules with those. I haven't sighted the gun in yet with those, so we might uh, have, have to find the zero first. And go from there. Okay, let's start. Okay, we might not get readings from the crony because it's quite dark already. Okay, so obviously we are high, so I'm gonna go down. And a little bit to the right. Let's start. Again. Let's try again. Okay. That's not a bad group, and also the velocities are quite consistent. I will just continue this way so you can see what kind of size of group you can expect. This uh, uh, circle is 20 centimeters in diameter otherwise. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure how many shots that was. I think I have at least one more. Yeah, that's it. So, not a bad group. And with really high power. So the knockouts definitely perform really well in K1 2020.